This is JB's Baseball Cards. Here today, it's special day or week, re release week for 2022 Top Series 1 Baseball. Me and my cousin Bob here are each going to open up one blaster box. Um, these are highly produced according to the odds here. Um, it takes one in 38 packs to get a gold parallel. It's quite ridiculous. And it's the same print run of golds as years past, so we know that they print a lot more to make the odds a lot worse, which... Years ago, you would have got one at least per blaster box, maybe two, maybe three or four years ago, but now it's only one, but we decided to get some. Uh, probably won't get a lot of blasters or hanger boxes. We'll do another hanger box video, but we're going to go mostly for the blisters. We're here in the Midwest, so you can get some at Meyer, the blister packs with the purple parallels, and you can also get, um, hopefully they'll have tens this year, which I really like the past two years. Each blaster box comes with... 99 total cards, seven packs, 14 cards in a pack, plus one um, medallion card with their jersey number, which is pretty cool this year. Those are cool. And then each pack's going to have one of these stars of MLB on the back, so I noticed the inserts are on the back this year. Um, the card itself, I do like the design. I don't know about you, Bob, but... I do, too. In the corner here, this reminds me of 2013 tops when they had, like, a little base and then it extended out into like the playing field, essentially. I love 2013 Topps designs, one of my favorites. This Luis Hill, he's a pretty good rookie card. Um, other than that, one thing I've also noticed is the rookie card logo is a lot smaller this year. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. Not too sure why. The back's pretty basic, um, pretty basic Topps back there on the back, but uh, it will say Series 1 there. The code here will be the same for base cards, the bottom code, and it will change for short prints. Uh, overall, I do like the design. It's just too bad they printed so much of it. The card stock feels pretty good. This is our first, our both uh, look first look for, our both of our first look for it in person. Yep. Look at it. All right. And so far, I'm impressed. All right. We got Garrett Cole. So, like I said, there are 14 cards in a pack, except for the pack with. There's your first Guardian card. Oh, yeah. That's my first ever Guardian card I've opened. Eli Morgan, rookie. It's hard to tell when it's a rookie card this year. It's how small the logo is, but it looks like it's in the top left. Matt Manning, he's a pretty good prospect for the Tigers. There's Kyle Lewis. That's a pretty cool card. He's had a few cool cards in his first few years in Major League products. Maldonado. And then a Home Run Challenge, nice. Boba Shett. So for this, you pick a game... You think he hits a home run in, and at least in years past, if he does, you get a parallel card of how many people actually picked that day uh, for him to hit a home run. And it's number two. Yep. And it's nice. I do like the Stars of MLB. Um, kind of looks like he's in like a meteor shower or something. And it is a refractor finish. I think you can get chrome cards of that. Yes, and th those, look really, those look cool as well. Um, last year they did, for the retail exclusive... Uh, Inserts they did redo cards, redux cards from 1952 for Series 1. What was it, 65 for Series 2 and 93 for Update Series? Yes. It's Kyle Schwarber. So you'll also see in Series 1, you'll see a lot of um, players in their updated uniforms from the trade deadline. In the past, they would be able to get them into Update Series, but not this year. Not in 2021 because Topps has gotten slower and slower. There's Zimmerman. That'll be his last card since he just retired. Corbin Burns, following him, I've noticed, is the Wander Franco for the most part. So maybe I'll get that in the next pack. It's a cool card. Generation Now of Dylan Carlson. It's a nice card. We both had success pulling him. And a Mike Trout, Stars of MLB. That's I, a good one right there. Yep. I'm not sure. Do you know how big the uh, the checklist is or in that set? I don't know. I have not checked that at all, no. Mike Carlson's a pretty cool one. We both had success pulling him. I know you can get some autographs from Generation now. On Beckett, they showcase the Vladdy Jr. autos. Oh, got a good one on the back, Bob. <laughs> Sell that one. I've noticed in blaster packs, boxes in the past, if you get like the collation where you know the next card's going to be something else, but it doesn't, the, the pack ends, a lot of times the next pack will have that card somewhere. But maybe I didn't get so lucky as to get the Franco in this one. But you got the insert. But speaking of Franco, I've noticed a lot of people have, um, you know, everyone's chasing him, but not a lot of people are talking about why. Oh, here it is. Nice. 
very nice rookie cup, Wander Franco. Um, the reason why people are chasing him, of course, he's a mega prospect. Um, look at those stats there: 288 batting average, only seven home runs in uh, 70 games, which that's not a lot. One every 10 games. But from what I've seen, I have not watched a lot of him. Me neither. No. But he has elite bat speed. Very. He is great contact hitter, and he does have a little bit of pop. And he's very fast. So those are his two. The hit tool and the speed tool are his two best. They're probably, you know, on that 20 to 80 scale, probably 70 or 80 on that scale. So yeah, that's a very nice card there, the Wander Franco base card. Oh, and I did get these boxes at Walmart. They're still 1998, so I'm happy about that. Here is one of those chromes, Juan Soto. Nice. I do like those a lot. He just turned down a 13-year, was it $360 million deal? Yeah, this I think this this was a uh, probably a good idea on his part. He's gonna get paid a lot of money. Yeah. And speaking of money, Wander get signed an extension too, didn't he? Yeah, it was ten yeah. years I think. For like only 180 million, so that sounds good deal for both team and the player. So that was definitely oh, that's a very good pack there. Two Wander Franco cards and that one photo Chrome. I don't think I think that's gonna be tough to beat. I don't, I don't know. I might not pull a Wander now. <laughs> Maybe you will. Maybe I got the touch. The last time we went, I went to this uh, uh, Walmart. I got a couple really good boxes from Topps Holiday. Got a auto relic of Anthony Rendon and a nice relic of J.D. Martinez, one of those Santa hat relics. Um, there's Sherman Mercedes. I'm surprised he's even in the Topps product. He didn't do much last year after his big start. Let's see what I got here. This is going to be the jersey relic. You got Clayton Kershaw. Clayton Kershaw. So this feels, it doesn't really feel like a, uh, doesn't really actually feel like cloth or whatever. Um, but it looks like it's rubber. Yeah, it's, uh, I'd say it's more of like a, I'm not plastic? sure. Plastic? Plastic, yeah, that would be a good way to describe it. But Clayton Kershaw, so that's pretty good. Key Brian Hayes, Bob's buddy Blake would love this bag. And that Kirsch. And then Garrett Cole. So I'd say I'm doing pretty well so far. Got three packs to go, and then Bob can open his blaster box. Stay tuned. I'm not sure if I'm going to post this one first or the hanger box first, but we got two videos of those coming in. So, notice a lot of these rookies, Stuart Fairchild, I've not heard of 75% of these rookies. So, they are really banking on Wander to sell this product. Brandon Marsh, I think he's a pretty good prospect for the Angels. Maybe he's the next Mike Trout. Who knows? There's Key Brian Hayes base. It's a Hayes box and a Franco box. I have a blue parallel coming up, which are harder to get this year than in the past. I can, I do like this picture because this was taken at that Field of Dreams Field of game. game. Yeah, Craig Kimbrell, he got traded there just in time to play in that game. I feel like from the Cubs, and he pitched like crap ever since. <laughs> Seriously, this is a pretty cool card, Miguel Cabrera, blue parallel. Nice. That is the retail exclusive blues, and then this Jazz Chisholm. So I got a pretty good box so far. Um, it's not. a not a rookie card, but Miguel Cabrera, of course, is going to be in the Hall of Fame. 500 hits. Does he have 3,000? I mean, 3,000 hits. Does he have 500 home runs, too? He does. Um, so he's got both. He hit that, I think, in Toronto. with his 500 home run. Well, did he, did he hit both milestones this year, or was one in 2020? It was probably one in 2020. I remember his 500th home run happened last season. Okay. And here's Jason Hayward, one of only five Cubs cards in the whole checklist, sadly. But I do like that image being by the Ivy, even though he's been a not the best deal contract-wise. No. Not the best value, dollar for dollar. There's Andre Jackson, another rookie I had never heard of. Andrew McCutcheon, welcome to the show. Young Cutchin after going getting called up from the Indians, Indianapolis Indians. There's Freddie Freeman, Stars of MLB. I gotta say, at first I didn't like those Stars of MLB just watching on videos, but in person they look really cool. They look sharp. All right, last pack for me, and then we get to Bob's blaster. Bob, you're going to be hard-pressed to beat this one. Probably. That's same old, same old around here. <laughs> Still haven't gotten a rainbow foil or a gold parallel. And like we mentioned, uh, there's Jordan in the Houston Astros card. It is very difficult to pull anything numbered because they made so much of this. That's there's Wander in the card pack right there. Tampa Ray. Yeah. Got at least three cards with Wander on it. Gavin Sheets, rookie. Mike Trout. I like that Trout. A lot of people say they don't like that picture of Trout, but I do. 
I think yeah. it's kind of cool. It's different. Like I like when they have different pictures. Sometimes it's always a pitcher throwing the ball, or sometimes it's always a hitter at the plate. But when you have different variety, I like that. Yeah. Cedric Mullins, he had a pretty good year last year. He was an all-star. That's my only rainbow foil of the pack. And Alex Bregman. Uh, hopefully Bregman doesn't follow me in my packs. It <laughs> seems like I get an insert of him every single time. Yeah, Bob's not a huge fan of the Astros. No, Except for he does like Jordan. I do like Alvarez. Let's see what I get. Right off the bat, my favorite player. Still is, Rizzo, even though he's a nice. Yankee. Perfect. I do like the card. That's Let's a see. good one to get signed, if because it's all white and you easy to see the autograph yeah fernando tatis christian vasquez bryce harper patrick mazeka the reds team card i like these cards i'm glad they brought them back the uh leaders cards this is the era yeah. leaders yeah card. in the past they would just have like um well, past five years or so they would only have one player on it yeah now they have three which they did about seven or eight years ago and there's the home run leaders card which is cool i like that one a lot uh chris flexen Alex Bregman, there you go, Bob. at least it's not an insert. Vladdy Jr., That's still a pretty nice good one. pack, even though you got the Bregman. <laughs> Garrett Ham uh, Hampson, could this be a Jazz Chisholm blue? That's no, a it Brian a De La Cruz. That's solid. I'll keep an eye on him this year, and a Jazz Chism Chisholm stars of MLB on the back. So there you I ended go. Up getting a Jazz. Pretty solid pack, even though you got that Bregman. You got a Tatis. You got a Rizzo. I like how I started Vlad off Jr. the year with the my favorite player. That might be a sign of good things to come. Hopefully. Ooh, I got a Lou Bob on the back, John. Oh, sweet. Cedric Mullins to start off. Zach Wheeler. Uh, Rodolfo Castro. Trey Mancini. Matt Olson. Aaron Ashby. Ian Kennedy. Willie Castro. Freddie Peralta. Devin Williams. He was a Cub for a bit. Or for a season. Vidal Brujan. That's a pretty good one. David Price. That's a good one right here. Andrew Vaughn, Future Stars. I noticed with the White Sox, they're using a lot of those City Connect jersey photographs of them. Yeah. They've been using that for the Cubs, too. I'm not a big fan of the Cubs. If it was red, if they used the red on the jerseys, I'd probably like it. But here's the Lou Bob. That's Stars a nice MLB. card. I like that a lot. Bob collects Lou Bobs. So. Maybe I have the Lou Bob touch this year again. That would be nice. I did in 2020. He's bringing back the mojo from 2020 when he got a stadium club autograph from a single pack. Seven bucks. Can't beat that. <laughs> we got Zach Short, rookie. Andrew Heaney. Miguel Sano. I like him. Matt Veerling. Shohei. Card number one. There we go. Very nice. Kurt Suzuki. Brian De La Cruz. Lourdes Grail Jr. Julio Urias. Jose Abreu. I got a cub. It's Kyle Hendricks. In the City Connect uniform. Yep. Not a fan, but... Nice, my first Cub. You Darvish. I got Reed uh, Detmers. He was a big prospect. 87. And Christian Yelich, stars of MLB. So we both had good boxes so far. I might save my, uh, what do they call those, jersey medallion cards mm -hmm. for my last uh, little pack here. Miguel or Michael Pineda. I'm surprised he's still in the MLB, honestly. Hey, he's been around for a while. Jaron Duran. That's a good one. Jose Ramirez in his Guardian uniform. Mitch Haniger. Brandon Marsh. Key Brian Hayes, future stars. There you go. There you go, Blake. Jacob Stallings. I think he's a good catcher. They traded him off to Miami, I think. Mm -hmm. Ernie Clement. Still no wander yet. Martin Perez. Mitch Keller. There's your wander. <laughs> it's Slugger he's, he's on the card, at least. <laughs> this card, just with him on, it probably adds like an extra buck. Freddie Galvis. Ooh, I got a Joey Gallo. I got a Joey Gallo last year, too, Did and I you, won. Oh, you won? Sweet. Yeah. And then I got a Tatis. Yeah, so, so maybe it's two for two on Joey Gallo winners. Yeah, one on his uh, Rangers jersey and another on a Yankees jersey, I guess. Um, hopefully we have a season we can use these. Yeah, speaking of that, was, at this point in time, at least, I have not heard of any resolution on the holdouts so we'll see if we get a season hopefully it's on time too but i doubt they're it. gonna have to f figure that out soon they need to get their crap together brady singer juan soto albert pools maybe his last card gerardo pa or gerardo para chad pinder san diego padres team card and the rays team card and the white Sox team card 
Oakland's team card. How many in a row, Bobby? That was four in a row, team cards. Lars Newtbar. I saw him play in the minors. Nice. Aaron Judge. Probably the next Cubs killer, right? <laughs> yeah. Max Kepler. I got a Boba Shett chrome. Very nice, Bob. I like the red jerseys. That's cool. And then I got Wander. Oh, Bob. These were two good boxes. I got the touch still. Heck yeah. <laughs> well, at least I got one Wander. Very nice. If I don't get the base, at least I have the, his insert. That's cool. I almost like the insert better. I mean, it'll be more uh, short printed than the base card, of course, which will probably be, I don't know, half a million, something like that. Right. A ton. Jorge Alfaro, Shane McClanahan, John Gray, Andrew Miller, Jake Cousins, Daniel Bard, Nate Pearson, how far, uh, what looks like a home run derby yeah, card. Yeah, derby. Um, Cal Ra Raleigh. I got Lou, Lou Bob. That's a good box Oh, man, it's a good box for me. Got my favorites. Mike Yastrzemski, Hanser Alberto, Frankie Lindor's 87, and then Garrett Cole, Stars of MLB. Got one more pack here. Uh, I think whatever happens in this pack, you're pretty set, but you really want the Lou Bob jersey number. Well, I got the Travis Stars of MLB. Wonder if I can get the player medallion card. Number medallion, I keep forgetting what they're called. Ramil Tapia. G Man Choi, I like him a lot. Saturdays are for the choice. <laughs> Victor Reyes, Joey Gallo, Christian Javier, Carson Kelly, Yuck, Yuck, <laughs> um, Mitch Moreland, uh, Chaz McCormick, Jose Iglesias, Marcus Stroman. I got Vladdy. Pretty solid. That's a solid one to get. Definitely should have, would have won MVP if Otani didn't have a crazy year. Yeah. And then I got Miguel Cabrera's 2021 Greatest Hits. I wonder if that was his 500th home run, maybe. I don't know. But anyway. And the Trout. And the Trout. So we all, we both got really good boxes, I feel like. I agree. What was your favorite card, Bob? My favorite card, um... Probably either the Wander Franco Stars of MLB, the Mike Trout, the Vladdy Jr., or um, the Anthony Rizzo base, just because I like Rizzo. One of those cards are my favorite. Yeah, I like both of the uh, Franco. I got one of those Francos as well. And I got this Soto Chrome. I like the blue Miguel Cabrera a lot too, being Tigers colors. But I'd say we both got some great boxes here. Um, Series one, we're not going to get a ton, or at least not playing a lot of blasters and hangers. I'm going to get all the tens if they have them, if I can, which I'm sure if they make them, they'll make plenty of them. Oh, so yeah. we'll be able to find them. And also the blister packs at Meyer, if we can find them, I'll definitely uh, be something to look out for. But uh, showing off that wander again. He's a, he's a great player. I just don't think people have talked a lot about why exactly people are looking after him. I guess it kind of goes unsaid to an extent, but yeah, he's got a great, one of the best in recent memory prospects coming up with just bat-to-ball skills, can really hit. So that's why people are chasing him, and he's also very fast. So uh, thanks for watching. Let us know what you think of Series 1, if you're getting any of this, if you've gotten any good pulls so far. I'd like to hear what you got. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you're having a good day. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Go Cubbies. Go Cubbies.